Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Erock here, another attachments video. We're going to go um, through the attachments of the AK-74U uh, and um, after, uh, after that I'll just quickly run through uh, what I think could be some cool loadouts, potential cool loadouts. Anyway, let's get into it. We're going to go start with the optics. Uh, we've got a quick dot LED, mill stop, Cobra, uh, Vision Tech, Microflex, Hawksmoor, Snap Point, a Diamondback Reflex, Silix Hollow Scout, Fast Point Reflex, Axial Arms 3x, and the Suzat Multi Zoom. Uh, for muzzle, we have Muzzle Brake, uh, Flash Guard, uh, Sound Suppressor, uh, Spetsnaz Compensator, the KGB Eliminator, and the GRU Suppressor. Actually, kind of been disappointed about some of some of these are very similar um, attachments. For every gun, there's not a big variety, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, next up, the barrel we've got the 9.3 inch extended barrel, um, 8.4 cavalry lancer barrel, the 9.3 uh, reinforced barrel, the 10.3 inch liberator barrel, uh, the 8.4 rifle barrel, and the 10.3 inch task force barrel. For body, we have steady aim laser mounted flashlight, uh, KGB target designator, the GRU 5 milliwatt laser sight, uh, Tiger Team spotlight, and the Ember sighting point. For underbarrel we have the foregrip, uh, red cell foregrip, patrol grip, bruiser grip, uh, spetsnaz grip, and the spetsnaz speed grip. Magazine options, uh, 40 round drum mag, uh, tape mags, 40 round speed mag, uh, Spetsnaz 50 round drum, the uh, mag clamp, and the 50 round fast mag. For handles, and we have speed tape, uh, drop shot wrap, uh, field tape, Spetsnaz field grip, serpent wrap, and the GRU elastic wrap. And finally, for stocks, we have the tactical stock, the wire stock, uh, duster stock. Uh, no stock, uh, Spetsnaz PKM stock, and the KGB skeletal stock. So that's it for the attachments. Uh, I want to quickly explore some of these attachments in more details. That's what you guys, um, some of you guys asked me to do that. So this is an interesting um, stock, actually. This is a pretty cool looking stock. We're going to make a quick, um, like a, a, a run and gun AK-74U that we all remember. From previous CODs. We're going to take off the stock. I, th I think it looks really cool like this. What does it give us in terms of sprint? Sprint to fire. That that's something I would put on uh, anyway. So let's have a look. What we um, Let's make it as fast as possible. Aim down sight time, flinch resistance, shooting move speed, sprint to fire speed. Um, it seems like pretty much everything reduces our sprint to fire speed. Go with speed tape. Um, I'm not sure how effective the flinch resistance would be, but that that's, that could be pretty useful if you don't mind giving up some of that sprint to fire speed. But we're gonna go with um, we're gonna go with the speed tape for now. For magazine, we need um, probably I don't know. I think 40 is enough. Well, it needs to be maybe a speed mag. This is 30, isn't it? And this is 40. Hmm. All right, let's go with the tape mags, 30 round mags, make it as quick as possible. Go with drum mag, kind of ruins the look. Anyway, we'll go with that. Um, what else would I wanted to put on? Could put on a, a suppressor for this game, obviously. It's a bit different than Modern Warfare. Suppressor is a bit of more of a must. Um, kind of ruins the look, though. I feel like you can get away with no suppressor. For full grip, we're gonna put uh, sprinting move speed, vertical recoil control. I like this one, shooting move speed. You're sacrificing a lot of shooting move speed. Hmm. I like this one. I'm gonna put on this one, and then finally we can put a uh, hip fire accuracy laser on it. But anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.